In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to run Python course online using the Coca platform. So visit this page to get access to the Coca platform. Now, if you're a beginner, I will encourage you to check the introductory video I made about this platform. So I have a video that gives an overview of this platform. So check the description box and you'll find a link to that video. Now, when you visit this page, make sure to sign in. If you don't have an account, sign up and then sign in. All right, so the interactive video has a section that shows how to sign up. So again, check the description box, you'll find a link to that video. All right, so if you sign in, uh, you may see this. So if you see this, just click on this one here, open your hookup project. You can also click your projects here, this one here, and then you'll be sent to the projects page. All right, I'll click mine. All right. Sometimes too, you see this. Yes, especially if you have um, if you have signing for the first time, you will see this. So if you see this, don't worry, it's still the same thing. All right. So for the Coca platform, your files are arranged in projects. So for example, this one and this one, these are projects. So projects allows you to um manage your files because you may have files for python r etc you may, you may be doing certain projects maybe machine learning or other data analytics projects so arranging them in projects makes sense so that you can organize your files and codes all right so let's get started so if you see this that means that your projects i don't know you don't have any files that's what some of you may see. But anyway, we'll go through all of them. So it's fine. So if you see this, then it's time to create your first Python file. You can also upload. I'll show you all of those stuff tonight. So let's start with the crates. So if you are here, yeah, and sometimes so that's what will happen. So at the moment, my internet just went off. So if your internet goes down, then you will see this message coming up. Okay, connecting. All right. So you always need to have internet access before you can use the Coca platform. So it's good that this thing even came up. Now let's proceed. So this is what I will do. Yeah, the internet is back. So now what we are going to do is to create a file. All right. So to create a file, you come to the side plus and then you have access to this all right so with the files there are different ways of creating files so we will do all of them let's start with the first one here this one here so when you create a file you have a default name i will keep the default names you can give it a name you want and then you come to this side so this side says create file with no extension this one is not recommended so if you create a file with no extension, let's click it. You will have this warning, all right? Because it's advisable to do that so that the Google platform knows what tool or engine or kernel to use to run the file. So it's not recommended. So come to this side, click on more file types. And then you have different extensions. So because we are going to use Python, you can come to this side. Let's see, we have dot pi, yeah. Python dot pi. So click it. And then it should be created for you. So this is a source code. All right. So if it's a source code, let's just say print hello world. Let me now, let me zoom in here yeah make it bigger all right so if it's a source code then you can run it using the terminal all right so let's say you have print hello world all right so if you want to execute it you come to this side come to this side code here and you can click on terminal you can also click on terminal here to open a command line terminal and then you can you can execute it so now if i do an ls 
I'm going to find that file there. All right, there's a file. That's what you created. So you can do this Python and then just execute it. Python and then call the file and then it will be executed. All right, so there's the source code. All right. If you don't want the source code and you want an interactive session, then that's also fine. You can do it here. That's what we are going to do next. So for that one, you come to, let's go back to the Explorer. Click, yeah, this is Explorer. So click it, all right. After clicking, you have the list of files you have created. So this is what you created first. So you can come to new. And then now we have file two. It can come to Jupyter Notebook. So this one gives us an interactive session. All right, so you can click it. Or you can also use January, but I will use this one. Try to explore this. I'll use this one. So click on this one. And when you click on Jupyter Notebook, you'll be asked to select a kernel. So kernels are engines. There are two. So they run um, in the background whenever you enter some code into the notebook. Because we are going to use Python, you can select it from here. I had earlier worked on the system, so it's recorded the previous or the most recent kernel I that is Python. All right. But if you don't see Python, just come to this side, suggested kernels, and you see Python. If you don't see it, say just come to all kernels by language. All right. And you're going to find everything here. So here we have Python 2, 3, and Aquinas, etc. So you have to decide what Python version you want to use. But I'll go with this one here, which is straightforward. All right. So just explore that's what i'll say so click the kernel and when you click it you have this camera so this means that whatever command you enter here is going to be executed by python all right let's start let's do some let's say a equals two b equals three let's see print a plus b all right so we can run it so click run and then after clicking it, the answer will be given to you. So let's wait for the answer to be given to us. All right, so the answer has been given to us, that is five. All right, now there are shortcuts. Instead of using the mouse, there are shortcuts, but I think I've forgotten it now. Um, but just check the Cooker platform, you have a documentation for that. So instead of always using the mouse to come and then click here, uh, you can also use the shortcuts. Okay, so I don't have it off head at the moment, but it's something you can also do. So I thought I would bring this to your attention. So uh, that is how we run Python online using the Cooker platform. Uh, there are other things you can do. Um, let's let's check something else. I mean, you can format it. You can do whatever you want here. You can move the entry widget up and down. That one up, it's up to you. you. Have to explore. I wouldn't do that in this tutorial. This is an intro video. So you can do that now. So far, you have created files. What about uploading? So if it's uploading, let's go back to the explorer. All right. Now we have two files. If you want to upload. All right, you can still come here. Click on plus, that's the new one, the new button, click it, and then scroll down. So when you scroll down, you see this. All right, so when you see this, just click it. And then go and select your Python code or Python notebook or whatever. All right, so here I have a Python notebook here. So I'll select it. And then once you select it here, it's automatically uploaded all right so when you come to the explorer again you will see it here all right so you cannot open this notebook so i'll open it all right so it has been opened so this is a machine learning for cancer prediction notebook so i've already covered this tutorial so check the description box you'll find a link to that video as well as the notebook okay so this is a notebook for machine learning tasks so i uploaded it 
and then i can also run it here i can also modify it as well and you can also download if you want to download the codes you can also do that all right let's go back to explorer so you can select files that you want to download let's say this and you can click on download all right so when you click on download you have this link and you can click it and then you can download okay so you have to save it in a location of your choice all right so you can click to save it and then you are done and you can open it on your own pc as well but that's something that you have to do all right so uh, these are things you can do you can also delete if you want to delete well you just check it come here delete you can also rename so just select the files that you want to process the file or file that you want to process then you can do your rename or you can maybe make a copy that's duplicate you can move like this you can move an item to a different place that one is up to you can try that as well so it's possible to do maybe you may want to move it to a different location or whatever it's up to you to do that yeah so basically there are a lot of things here that you can use this platform for if you are running python projects and then uh, that'll be it so what you should also notice that the coca platform offers both free services and then paid services so if let's say you are looking for a feature and you can't find it you can check if it's um it's uh among or it's part of the paid service services or not and then you can decide to pay or not but for the most part as a beginner you'll be fine using the free version all right so that's how we do it yeah okay so now now let's do this whatever we've done so far is under a project all right it's under a project all right so this project is called untitled so when you come to click projects you see all of them there so this is the project what is running this is also running all right so this is what we have been working in all this while all right you can also decide to remove a project that one is up to you so you can create projects you can delete projects all right and then when you're on this page if you want to enable heading or deleted projects you can check it and then see i don't mind i've not deleted any projects or i don't have any heading projects so nothing else will be shown all right so these are the active projects all right so let's click this one back and we are here all right so and this is how we use the hookup platform so you can also delete projects as well so that is something that you can also check the documentation but if you have any challenge you can also contact me and then we can work on that so for now that's what we have so i have covered some tutorials so in addition to the in addition to the Coca platform you can also use google collab Kaggle, and other platforms to also run python course online so check the description box you'll find links to tutorials on that you can also check the playlist that's been shown right now so i'll see you in the next session